Hi everyone and good morning from the WNC Nature Center, which is the small zoo in Asheville, North Carolina. I go by the legend of my wonderful girlfriend Molly. We're going to show you around the zoo and all the animals in this video. The first section of the zoo is a barnyard area, home to chickens. And then if I turn around, there's a really cool Angora goat. That is a peaceful looking goat. No. Two peaceful looking goats. Dating back to the early 14th century. There's some old goats. There is also a big outdoor yard for the goats. The farmyard area also has some donkeys. Being not too far from the Great Smoky Mountains, no surprise, the zoo does have a black bear. The zoo is home to a second black bear. You can see them both now as they're up and moving around a little bit. One last shot of the bears. That one bear is very big. Yeah, that's a big black bear. There's an aviary section for various birds of prey. Check out the great horned owl here. I always think owls are neat. Here you can see an otter who I believe is scratching an itch very adorably. There's at least a couple of otters in here. One poking his head up from over on the other side there. Aww. The zoo is home to a lot of animals that live in the area. And this uh, really cool skink. Nope, he's not part of the zoo. He's just wandering around. What a cool looking animal. Towards the back of its enclosure, resting in its house, is a little gray fox. Very similar to the pose the gray fox is in. The red fox is sleeping in the back of its enclosure in one of the boxes. Having a snooze in the back of its enclosure, that's a red panda. They do have two different red pandas. Really can't get a good view of the second one. But I like this, they show you like all the stuff that it goes into caring for the red panda and all the different things that you can find inside of its indoor enclosure. Pretty far in the back of its enclosure there, looks like it's playing in the dirt, eating something, is a coyote. What's oh, digging a little hole? That is a nine week old red wolf cub or pup. <laughs> Yeah, there are eight, uh, eight altogether. There's seven females and one male, which I haven't yet. Can get a view of the uh, more full-grown red wolf right here. And uh, these animals are very, very endangered. There's only something around two to three hundred of them remaining anywhere. Twenty-five in the wild, a lot in breeding centers like this. And it's really nice to have binoculars right now that yeah. we can use to get a better look at the babies. Yep. Since they're all the way in the back. And adorable. Now, I was only able to find a couple of them, but they have, in total, eight red wolf pups, all born on uh, April 28th, 2023. That, that's great for, uh, you know, the species survival program. It's very, very important. This is the gray wolf. They are really big. Yeah, they're also having a nap. The next section of the zoo is the Appalachian Station. Small wonders of the Smokies, and the door is very, very well done. I am not the biggest fan of snakes, but this snake, it seems like it's smiling. It's definitely smiling. And this is a corn snake. Uh, interesting enclosure as well. There's a couple of them in here, and they could go between the two enclosures in this tube. I would love it. Here we have an eastern box turtle. I think we saw one of these guys when we went hiking the other day. Hiding in his log here. What kind of snake is that? Uh, black rat snake. Is he albino? Yeah. You can see his whole body as I go over here. He's big. And here you have a common snapping turtle. When these guys move, they can really move. We have a red salamander all the way in the back. Moving. 
move in his head a few seconds ago. We have an Eastern Box to a uh, Turtle Juvenile. He's really tidy. Of course, you have your classic Eastern Gardener snake. Here we have an American Toad hanging out in his moss. They do have a pretty nice enclosure for the Hellbender, which is a salamander that can grow up to two feet. You can see its tail right there. And then over there, what looks like a rock, that is its head. These are animals that disguise themselves very, very well. Now there are a lot of cool enclosures in here. I do want to thank Molly for stepping up and filming this segment. I, uh, a lot of these you have to bend down quite a bit. And I recently injured my quad in a water gun fight with Bigfoot. Future me, roll the clip. Now move location with this shootout. <laughs> Well, this is very different. They have a vending machine filled with plushies you can buy for $10 to support the Nature Center. And that'll do it for our time at this charming little zoo. Uh, it was kind of fun getting to see all the native wildlife to the North Carolina area. A very inexpensive zoo to get into. It's $14. If you are a member of a different AZA zoo, you do get a reciprocal discount of 50%. So uh, we used ours from the Cincinnati Zoo to get in for only $7. Um, pretty neat little area. Uh, Molly, do you have a favorite animal? Uh, the bears are very, very active here. I wish they were more active, but I would go with the red wolf pups. That's, you know, a very rare animal to see. Yes. Those cute and little guys. Good for them for having so yeah. many. Yeah. If you've got any questions about the Nature Center, let me know in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. And thank you for watching. We are now going back to breweries.